Back in January, we did a, a count of homeless people, of people who were either in shelter or on the streets across the Tri-County region of Osceola and Seminole and Orange Counties. And we found just over 1,600 people, which is more than a 20% reduction from last year's count. I think one of the main reasons that these numbers have improved is because the community as a whole has embraced new strategies, including what's called Housing First. We shifted our emphasis from serving homeless people to housing people and ending their homelessness, and we've made that a priority. And that's one of the main reasons for the reduction in numbers. We're recruiting landlords to work with us, landlords who will accept our tenants, people from the uh, homeless population that we're working with. We have rental assistance to ensure that their rent gets paid every month, and then we link those tenants with case management supports and other supports that are designed to ensure that they can maintain their tenancy and stay safely housed and comply with their lease with those landlords. The actual counting process involves uh, a lot of dedicated volunteers who come out. They come to a training so that they can learn how the process works. And then the night of the count, they go to campsites and they go to soup kitchens and they go to places where people congregate in our efforts to make sure that we capture everybody who's staying outside on that night. And then we combine that with the numbers reported in from homeless shelters and transitional housing from across the, across the community. And we use that to come up with a total count for the region. The community has been very receptive and very supportive of these new programs, of the new initiatives, and the count just kind of verifies that we've put our eggs in the right basket and we're moving forward in a positive way.